Law and Order is back in 2022, more than 12 years after we believed it was over. Season 21's reboot launch date is set for Thursday, February 24th, 2022. So far, this is all we know about the 21st season of Law and Order. Is the reboot happening? The original program that spawned spinoffs including Law and Order Special Victims Unit and Law and Order Criminal Intent will return for a 21st season, according to an announcement made back in September 2021. According to NBC, and Wolf Productions, the new Law & Order is on the way. It's not the first time the program has sought to return. There was talk of filming a Law & Order miniseries in 2015, but it never happened. Law & Order for the Defense, which was meant to be a spin-off, was cancelled before it was created. Here's to hoping this one goes well. It'll be season 21, so it will be the same Law & Order that everyone has known for the past 20 years, as Wolf told Variety. As a result, there isn't much changing it. All they want to do is keep creating incredible stories. Three officers and three DAs will be in the focus, as is customary. When it comes to creating a story, many individuals believe that strong writing, acting, and production values are essential. This is something they've always believed in at Wolf Productions as well. The first episode of the Law & Order remake will premiere on NBC on Thursday, February 24th, 2022 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Dick Wolf and the team According to Dick Wolf, very few dreams in life genuinely come true, and for him, this is one of those dreams. Wolf will continue to be the producer, along with Rick Eade, who will serve as showrunner and writer. Susan Rovner, the head of entertainment content at NBC Universal TV and Streaming, agreed. Law & Order is one of the most well-known programs in television history. The prospect of carrying on its heritage while collaborating with Dick on a new season is nothing short of thrilling. This is fantastic news for NBC and TV enthusiasts across the world. Law & Order has 456 episodes in its original 20-season run, coming close to breaking Gunsmoke's record for the longest-running primetime drama. The initial program was canceled in May 2010 when contract negotiations fell down. In reality, it was Law & Order SVU that would shatter the record, having been on the air for 23 years and counting. For a long time following the initial reboot announcement, there's been a lot of casting and release date news. Fans of the first series will be overjoyed to see so many familiar faces return. Waterston on returning as Jack McCoy Waterston has returned to the role of Jack McCoy. He says he's looking forward to returning to the part with fresh eyes. The framework of the program and even the names of the characters have been there for a long time, but he believes he must find a new way to live in the show. He believes that this is what will make it enjoyable for them to accomplish this together. A new day has dawned. It's the same program, but it's not the same. McCoy will undergo changes as a result of the new individuals Jack will be working with the majority of the time. McCoy and his connections will be unique. It's quite remarkable to see how the past and present present are intertwined in this way. Waterston claims that he does not believe McCoy is exhausted. He was excited to fight back then, and I believe he is today. What a difference a decade makes. He's oblivious. In six or seven episodes, he was questioned about it. Sam Waterston on Dick Wolf and coming back As recently as mid-December, it was revealed that Sam Waterston will resume his role as Jack McCoy, the character he played from season 5 to 20 in the original series. According to an interview Sam had with Variety, Dick Wolf strongly believes that the show's suspension was a huge mistake. He went on to add that he feels it's appropriate to term it as a suspension since it's coming back. Wolf was so close to reaching his objective five years ago that he almost didn't make it. As far as Waterston is aware, Wolf has never given up on this. There's no way someone could have a great career without the assistance of people like him. Waterston admitted that he was anxious following the first episode. At first I thought, haven't I done this already, he wondered, before adding that he's pleased he didn't miss out on this chance because people are rushing through their lives lives and are always in a hurry. They didn't have a chance to see their lives, look back at it, or gaze down at it when it's at its height. It's impossible to overestimate the worth of a person's life, as Waterston put it. Chris Noth will not return Chris Noth is not a member of the new Law & Order SVU cast. Noth portrayed Mike Logan on the show for five seasons until he was involved in a confrontation with a politician. According to the Associated Press, there's no animosity between Noth and the Law & Order staff, and his exit from the show years ago was due to contract negotiations failing. From 2005 through 2008, Noth was a regular on Law & Order Criminal Intent. He then told Digital Spy that he never felt like he belonged on that show. He didn't feel like him and the character were a good match. Noth was charged with sexual assault not long ago. His character Mr. Big was killed off in the first episode of the Sex and the City remake. Anthony Anderson also returning. Is anyone else coming back? Anthony Anderson, who portrayed Detective Kevin Bernard on Law & Order's 20th season before it was cancelled. Curiously, his ABC 
comedy Blackish also ends in spring 2022. When questioned about his choice to return to the series, he told People that he feels great being back in the Wolf Entertainment family and aboard the mothership. He believes that if the program hadn't been unceremoniously cancelled more than a decade ago, it would be in its 30th or 32nd season by now. That's what he believes in his head, which is why it feels great to be back for him. Hugh Dancy and Cameron Manheim have joined the cast of the Hannibal reboot, which will be based on the TV series. The following actors and actresses have been cast in the lead roles. Sam Waterston as District Attorney Jack McCoy, Anthony Anderson as Detective Kevin Bernard, Cameron Manheim as Lieutenant Kate Dixon, Jeffrey Donovan as Detective Frank Cosgrove, Hugh Dancy as EADA Nolan Price, and Odelia Halevi as ADA Samantha Maroon. What to expect for Season 21? The 21st season of Law & Order will look a lot like the previous 20 seasons, according to a press release on Wolf Entertainment's website. Season 21 will pick up where Season 20 left off in 2010, with the basic premise of investigating two distinct but equally important groups, the cops who investigate crimes and the district attorney who prosecute the criminals. Waterston stated that for the revival, certain instances may be drawn directly from the headlines. They're not going to be able to escape any of the present problems. They set out to make people want to hurl their shoes at the TV, and Waterston believes that many people would be upset and dissatisfied with how things end up, according to Variety. There is a resolve, but there's also a lot of dissatisfaction with the way things are going. That's the appeal of Law & Order. Because we're all outraged about something, he believes Law & Order has something to contribute to the conversation. He went on to say that everyone is outraged over something and enraged at each other at the same time. It may be a useful service for them to get these huge issues out there and have some type of resolution that folks can chew on. Keeping in mind BLM, Anderson stated on People that the show would once again focus on how police officers and prosecutors communicate with one another, as well as how the Black Lives Matter movement has influenced the interaction between law enforcement and the broader public. He stated that the purpose was to provide a truer reflection of police community interactions, reform, and other relevant topics. This film depicts good, bad, and ugly in all their grandeur. Every barrel has a few rotten apples regardless of the type of fruit. He feels their show will address this issue. On the surface, they learned a little about Kevin Bernard's relationship with Frank Cosgrove, as well as how he was probed by Detective Bernard while working in internal affairs. They begin to acquire mutual admiration and regard for one another, but neither is prepared to cross that line. And that is where we are, he says. Finally, a Law & Order SVU Season 21 trailer has arrived. In it, Lt. Kate Dixon of Mannheim tells Detective Frank Cosgrove Donovan, Like it or not, we're partners with these guys, so you better stay above the fray. NBC also aired first-look promos for Law & Order SVU Season 21 during the Super Bowl. That's a wrap for this video. Are you excited for the reboot? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.